Good morning. How's it going out there, folks? Good afternoon as well. Uh, good evening, depending on where you're at out here on this Tuesday. It's uh, 1237 p.m. California time. June 17th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 2.8 uh, up into Idaho. Also 2.3 there in the oil fields of Texas, where a lot of activity is stirring up there today. Just outside of Pecos, Texas. Got a pretty good swarm of activity, some twos and threes. Uh, nothing big out here yet. Uh, occasionally we do get these five pointers that stir up sometimes uh, in certain areas of the oil fields, which is all over the place here across this region of Texas. But uh, for now, just some twos, threes. Keep an eye on that. Uh, definitely showing some activity on the uptick there. Uh, across the Sawtooth Fault System, off of there, I should say, a couple er earlier earthquakes this morning. Very small microquakes there for now. Really nothing of any major interest going on uh, let's give a quick glance here at yellowstone we'll get to space weather here in a minute uh, not a whole lot of activity stirring up there across yellowstone national park pretty quiet conditions uh, in fact i don't see any earthquake activity occurring on any of the seismograph stations there uh, there's that one earthquake just stirring up there on stanley idaho near stanley idaho on the sawtooth fault system that's the earthquake we've seen uh, show up on the globe Looks like EMSC reported that just prior to the um, USGS. So this one's a rather interesting because it is right smack dab on the Sawtooth Fault System here. Uh, we've had a lot of swarming here recently around the Stanley, Idaho area, but that's been mainly north and off of the Sawtooth Fault System. Now we're starting to get uh, at least this latest earthquake here, 2.8, directly on the Sawtooth Fault System. So that can't be a good sign. And I say that because this area, uh, we've covered this a number of times, is capable of producing up to a 7.5. Uh, the last series of large events like that uh, occurred 4,000 years ago and 7,000 years ago. So here we are, 4,000 years into the future, you know, since our last big rupture out here. Uh, could be talking about some big earthquake activity ramping up on, at, on this uh, sawtooth fault system. Again, the majority of this has been off of it into the north. We've had some swarms over here to the east, indicating some pressure transfer off of this region. The general stress out here uh, tends to work in the fashion of west-east. But now we got uh, this earthquake showing up. We'll see if they review it and maybe, well, it actually has been reviewed. So that's going to stick around right there on the sawtooth fault system. Got to watch that closely. Uh, Pacific Northwest, uh, mainly smaller microquake activity out there. Nothing big going on uh, across the area for now. Northern California, slight uptick down here across the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, a couple twos and some ones out there. Nothing big happening. Of course, the uh, tremor activity here underneath the region of the southern end of the Cascadia was elevated yesterday. We'll see what today's map looks like. Of course, this follows some uh, activity out along the Blanco Fracture Zone, some earthquake activity, right? Adding further strain here in this general fashion, putting the strain on the southern end of the Cascadia. That's why this tremor activity is elevated because uh, the plates here trying to really shove this Juan de Fuga plate underneath the North American plate and it creates these tremors that occur down deeper into the area. Of course, the tremor activity uh, is a, is a uh, for sure sign that strain is continuing to build across the southern end of the Cascadia. Bay Area, one earthquake right on the San Andreas Fault here. Looks like that's just from yesterday. Nothing new to report uh, across this area today. Pretty quiet down there across the Bay Area. Uh, Southern California, quiet as well. Nothing above 2.5. Uh, there was a 2.9 way north here near Bodie. Uh, way up north there from uh, early this morning. Earthquake activity, though, in, in general. Uh, mostly across the Garlock Fault Shear Zone and right here at this interchange here. Got to watch that. Between the San Andreas Fault and the Garlock Fault Shear Zone. Showing some activity. Looks like uh, this morning 1.2 and a 1.7. That's... That's the, uh, about the only noteworthy mentioning here of quake activity in Southern California, just that location there um, between the, the shear zone and the plate boundary itself. Kind of acts as a spring, so to speak, when we get that strain building up southward 
Um, no big activity for now, but uh, definitely it does have potential, let me tell you. Out in Nevada, a couple earthquakes there this morning as well. Outside Carlin, 3.2 and a 2.7 earlier this morning. Let's see what else we got. Um, Oklahoma getting some earthquake activity. The new Madrid seismic zone, one from yesterday. Nothing new to report out here. A little 2.1. Uh, far as the rest of the map goes, make sure the bells are off, which they are. Uh, increasing earthquake activity up in Alaska today again. Getting a lot of movement up here recently. A lot more active than normal. This is just the last week of 2.5 and above. Showing a number of earthquakes there in the 3 and 4 range. Upper 4.7 here along the Aleutian Trench from uh, a few days ago. But a lot of activity stirring up north around Anchorage. All the way up deep, deeper into Alaska. Even had a whole bunch up around the uh, um, Franklin Mountains area. Quite a few fault systems sit up there. But uh, I believe that's firmly a sign here of strain building along the Aleutian Trench, the subduction zone down here. Uh, so watch that closely as well. It's got uh, some big time potential. The Kuro Kamchatka Trench, uh, relatively active as well, looks like from yesterday. And one from today, 4.7. This is another major subduction zone that's uh, fairly well locked and loaded for some big earthquake activity. Nankai Trough, pretty quiet. Uh, the Philippines there, south into the Indonesia area, quite a few earthquakes. Even a couple fives out there today. Um, see where those fives are. It looks like along the Philippine Trench out here. 5.3 just after 1 o'clock. And a 5.1 there from uh, late last night. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Tonga Trench, quite a few earthquakes here. Pretty shallow though. I don't think we had anything big, just a number of very shallow earthquakes out here uh, this morning. But that follows a deeper quake there from yesterday. Uh, looks like that's starting to add the strain upstream here. Deeper quakes normally add quite a bit of stress and, and uh, strain upstream here. <coughs> Excuse me, around that subduction zone level interface where the uh, well the plate begins to subduct here underneath the region, the Pacific plate. Got a lot of shallow activity here, and sometimes this is where those big earthquakes can occur if there's enough strain built up. Uh, New Zealand down here. Some threes from yesterday. Nothing new to report uh, for that area for now. And the Mediterranean, Middle East, the rest of the area here outside in Nepal. Looks like some forest stirring up, but nothing big happening for now. Um... I don't see any swarm stirring up either across the uh, Santorini area, but we will just verify that. I mean, it looks fairly active on the map, but I don't think we got anything of any significance. Couple localized earthquakes there to the Santorini, Greece area. That's where this station is around that volcano. Just a couple smaller earthquakes, so nothing big. Uh, Iceland, a little 2.9. Atlantic Ocean, there's that five-pointer from yesterday. Nothing new to report across the Atlantic. South America area, a little bit calmer today. A lot of quakes there from yesterday. Looks like the, the majority of the movement starting to shift up. Uh, well, some movement up north. There is a swarm going on, it looks like, there in the Gulf. Um, just off the coast there, Baja, California, four-pointer. Uh, big Island of Hawaii, see what's going on out there around Hawaii real quick. And then we'll get to space weather. Let's see if we're working. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, waiting on episode 26. These guys are, think it's going to happen between the 18th and the 20th. And I agree with them. Uh, looking at the deformation data here. Shows a little bit of leveling out. Here in the last few hours or so. This is the two-day run of the electronic tilt at Kilauea Volcano Summit. This shows the inflation, the magma accumulation occurring down below the surface there that's creating rise on the land and we've leveled out here a little little interesting not not uh completely abnormal but i'm gonna see where this goes i mean for the most part it's following the similar trends there of the last 25 episodes since december of last year uh, so this should should go back up we'll watch that uh it's got to be Getting close here to seeing another eruption here in a day or two. 
I'll double check the uh, webcams here at the summit area. Obviously, quite a bit of volcanic gases seeping out there from those craters where the uh, eruptions have been confined to. Uh, but for now, we wait. Looks like a little cloudy day out there. A lot of uh, volcanic gas in the air as well. So blue sky, not too bad. Nice little image. All right, uh, space weather activity. See if there's anything going on in the sun. We still got this massive area over here, 4114. Uh, still quite uh, peppered there with quite a bit of magnetic complexity. Uh, maybe a little bit of weakening going on here. We'll have to watch that. Uh, but I still think this area has some potential for some X-flare uh, activity. It's about the only one here on the Earth-facing side of the sun that is noteworthy to mention. Uh, there's another region back over here. Kind of hard to tell. Let me see. Uh, it did show off. It did blow off some C-flare activity. I think it was yesterday. Uh, again, it's just coming right into view. Uh, so we'll have to watch that here in the coming days, see how complex that is. Uh, but for now, all eyes here on 4114. Uh, the overall flare threat out here is still somewhat elevated. 25% chance for X flare, M flare at 75. Uh, C flare, of course, in the 99% category. Proton events have gone down a little bit to 10%. No major auroras there in the forecast for now. Uh, let me check out the um, Space Weather Prediction Center, see if they've uh, updated this. It does look like there's a little bit of update here. Let's see, because we've had a CME, a couple different CMEs that were shot off from, from the uh, 4114 area that would be earth directed. And there's one of them, looks like that's gonna miss the planet, which is in the green. But we do get some high speed solar wind stream, it looks like, potentially coming up here um, around the 21st to the 22nd but uh, not counting on much there for as far as uh, solar storming goes as far as the auroras go alright next close approach asteroids out here five of them let's see what's on the menu today uh, that's pretty close newly discovered 21 foot bus size asteroids coming in without with a uh, looks like 124,000 miles that's close, definitely within the Earth's Earth uh, moon distance, but um, nothing to worry about as far as any, you know, no, like a near hit, near miss. That's still somewhat safe there. Uh, this one's fairly new as well, 84,000 miles, a little bit closer. And quite a few new ones out here. Uh, that's the thing, they're always discovering new asteroids throughout the day. And night, I'm sure the night shift out there is work is working as well. But uh, for the most part, folks, everything looks fairly safe. Um, I won't start to investigate these until I get to about 20,000 miles or so from the planet, no matter how big they are. Uh, just these are relatively small, so even if a 13-foot asteroid did come into the Earth, it'd just be a neat little fireball, uh, and that's it. But uh, yeah, we'll continue to watch that. See if anything new pops up here soon. Moderate risk for some severe weather out there across Oklahoma and portions of the beautiful state of Kansas here. It looks like around Wichita, Augusta. Um, heads up, got uh, some tornado activity out there. Seen a huge stovepipe tornado up in Nebraska yesterday on uh, social media. Quite a few storm chasers caught it. Uh, absolutely stunning tornado. Uh, and that was in a 5% zone. It's crazy. But again, got a 5% there across uh, Kansas and northern Oklahoma for some tornado activity. Wind appears to be the big threat out here today, along with some large damaging hail. So just a heads up, if you're out here in this region today, watch for those uh, the severe weather potential. As uh, far as the tropics go, looks like we got Eric down here. Tropical storm, Eric, um, 50 mile per hour sustained winds. Let's see where this is headed. It looks like it's going to reach a hurricane status here and head to the north a little bit uh, on land. There is some uh, hurricane warnings in effect, tropical storm warning as well in the blue. Uh, but I don't think this is expected to strengthen all that much. Uh, let's see here.
just says hurricane most of the time if it's gonna be a major hurricane it'll show an M on here so it could be uh, category one or two um, but yeah nothing uh, nothing big going on out there for now I think that's the only one out there as uh, far as any tropical systems go the Atlantic nothing showing up Central Pacific nothing showing up as well so just a little bit of activity stirring up there off the coast of Mexico with Tropical Storm Eric soon to be hurricane all right uh, latest just giving a quick double glance here yeah they're keeping that 2.8 right on the sawtooth fault system so just be on guard folks uh, a lot of this activity we are seeing over the last couple months off the sawtooth fault system could be a sign that this is getting ready to go and that uh, is capable of producing some larger earthquakes out there uh, much bigger than that 6.5 we had uh, back in 2020 that was even north here off of the sawtooth fault system so, all right, folks, have a good one. We will catch you guys out here a little bit later on uh, this evening unless something major happens. Uh, seismograph stations there. A little earthquake shown in, shown up there on the Philippines station, it looks like. Uh, not a big one, but it's been quite active out there recently. Quite a few fives and a bunch of other quakes. Just be on guard. We'll see you guys out here a little bit later. Take care.